Hi guys, this project is suggested by George. Probably didn't quite intend it the way I'm going to do it. He asked me if I've got any solar powered clocks. I have done a couple of videos on solar powered clocks, just very simply attaching the little electric clock to a solar panel so it runs during the daylight. No good for telling the time, but it does actually tell you how much sunlight you've had. If you set it at 12 o'clock to begin with, then you see how many hours of sunlight you had. Anyway, a solar clock. That would be one that's running off the sun, and you need something to charge up at the same time so it continues running at night. So I have quite a few of these which are the circuit boards and batteries from those little solar lights you get for the garden. I've taken the solar panels off them because I used them for a project, so I was left with lots of these little circuit boards. So my plan is the clock will run off that battery with no trouble at all. In fact, if we connect it the right way round, it might even run just with the charge that's in there, even though they haven't been used for... Did that start moving? I'm just trying to get them to line up. Yeah, that did. That definitely ticked. So that's what I intend to do. As simple as that. I don't know if this is a working clock mechanism. You can see it's rather beaten up. And there is obviously a problem straight away. There's enough charge in that battery to run it. So we won't honestly know whether it's running off solar power or just what's in that battery. You have to let it run all the way down. And then leave it in the sun to charge up and see if it kept running. I mean, I would expect that clock would run for ages off that battery, even though that battery hasn't been charged since it's been in that box. And I bought these several years ago so they've held charge for years which is pretty good so okay we've got the circuit board we don't need the led the way they work is sunlight or solar power solar cell charges the battery through the circuit board there when the sun stop shining the circuit detects that and rather than charge the battery it allows the battery to discharge through the LED we don't want that to happen so I'll take the LED off don't know whether that will upset the circuit or not but I'll take the LED off so that all that happens is the battery is charged when the sun is shining on it but permanently across it I'll attach the clock so it's running all the time so it'll be a matter of whether there's enough charge going into the battery to charge it faster than the clock is discharging it and to be quite honest I think there'll be plenty um, possibly I ought to include a resistor in there to reduce the current draw from the clock but I think it's going to draw so little current probably not going to matter Oh, we need a solar panel because we're missing. Um, so I've got some here. I've got these ridiculously delicate ones that break as soon as you just look at them. Quite a few of them. They're very cheap. You buy them in a pack of 50 or something for a, a few pounds. So I could use that one. Or I could use one of these that I've used for something else. 
that will give us quite a bit more power. So back to the original circuit, we've got a solar panel, we've got the solar light circuit board that I've taken the LED off. Uh, and then across the battery, I've just got the clock straight across the battery. So if I put the battery in, then the clock runs. But if I shine a light on there, you won't be able to tell whether it's running off the solar panel or the battery. So if I take the battery back out again, and then shine a light on there, because the sun's now gone in, of course. So the clock is running off solar power there. I suppose I could try and discharge the battery. Hmm. That seems a bit logical, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right, I'll see if I can discharge the battery somehow and then put it in there and see if it charges up and starts the clock running. Right, looks like we flattened the battery. So I'll set this up somewhere. Put a time-lapse camera on it. and leave it to see if it charges up and runs. Right, I've set it up. Time-lapse camera. Uh, set to one frame every 10 seconds. It's... Uh, about seven minutes to four o'clock in the afternoon. Thursday the 24th of December so we won't be getting any sunlight in the next 12 hours or so but I'll leave the time-lapse camera running because I will forget about it if I try and do it in the morning because we've got other things to do surprisingly enough on December the 25th so we'll just leave that running see if it gets charged up at all and if it does get charged up is it enough to get the clock running because obviously most of the charge is going to go into the battery and then, well all the charge is going to go into the battery because the solar panel goes through the circuit and charges the battery the question is will the clock run and drain the power quicker than the pack battery gets charged if that makes any sense because if it doesn't charge the battery during the day then it will stop in the night and that's the whole point of charging the battery that it should it should charge the battery during the day and keep the clock running at night what I could have done and I didn't do was add a resistor into the circuit on the clock circuit to reduce the amount of current that the clock takes. I'm just working on the theory that that clock takes such a small amount of current it shouldn't stop the battery being charged but I may well be wrong in which case if it fails we'll have to add a resistor into the circuit. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.